Hello, welcome to Collection Speed Dating at Fort Ticonderoga. I am Matthew Cagle, the curator, and I'm here in Fort Ticonderoga's library stacks amidst our collection of rare books, with one of the rarest and most interesting volumes in our collection. This is the journals of the famous Major Robert Rogers, one of the best and most compelling first-hand accounts of military service in the French and Indian War. Now, Rogers' journals were first published in London in 1765, following his military service in the French and Indian War and Pontiac's War, where he saw action in the Champlain Valley, Canada, the Great Lakes, and the Carolinas. Seeking to promote his capabilities for peacetime service, he was ultimately able, through the publication of this, to gain notoriety and get a governorship of Michilimackinac on the Great Lakes. He returned to America, although his governorship was clouded with controversy and ultimately ended up in a court-martial, of which he was found not guilty, but a shadow hung over his career when he returned to Great Britain in 1769. Between 1769 and 1770, three further editions of his journals were published in Dublin, Ireland, although evidently with no authorization from Rogers himself. This is perhaps the rarest of those editions, because the later, better-known Irish publications of Rogers' journals also included another account of Pontiac's war, one that Rogers did not write himself. This, however, seems to just be the journals of Robert Rogers, published in 1769, the book that made him famous and has carried his legacy forward to the present day as one of the most important and compelling documents of military service in North America during the French and Indian War by one of its most charismatic and captivating figures.